Today, I'm going to compare three free upscalers to the new Midjourney upscaler that's been added recently to see which of these gives you the best results and makes the most sense for upscaling. So here we are inside of Photoshop where I like to compare these images and this one right here was created in Midjourney. We're currently looking at the original file before it was upscaled. So if we zoom in right here, you can see it is quite pixelated and blurry. And this is sort of the area we will be looking at around the ear and the eye uh, for comparison. So this is the original. Next up, I'm going to show the Midjourney upscaler and what that did. So we zoom in quite closely so you can see the difference well. On height this, there we go. This I think looks very realistic and obviously a lot better from the original image. This definitely looks a lot like fur to me, very smooth. And let's look at the eye as well. That, that looks amazing. I had mid journey again. This is the original, very blurry, horrible quality. And then mid journey for X looks pretty cool. I, I do definitely like the aesthetic of this upscaler. It has got a smooth feel to it, but it also shows a lot more detail at the same time. So let's zoom into the ear and reveal DGB next. For DGB, I used the, the balanced model because I wanted all of these upscalers to have a 4x upscale for fairness reasons, so they all have the same upscale. DGB now has a 6x upscaler as well that you can use for free by the way, but this one is the normal 4X. So mid journey is what we see right now. This is DGB, mid journey, DGB. As you can see, the results look pretty damn different. So mid journey looks extremely smooth, whereas DGB looks a lot sharper and there's more contrast. These edge pieces right here on the ear are also quite different. And I would say the fur looks a bit more realistic with the mid journey model, but DGB, does have a nice sharpness effect. If we zoom out a bit, so we can see the whole face, you see this is mid journey, this is DGB. So they, they do look pretty damn different. The eye on DGB looks like this, mid journey like this. The colors, the contrast, the way the detail is displayed, very, very different. I do, I think I like the mid journey upscaler slightly more on this direct comparison, and I think it looks a bit more realistic. However, the downside is, and I would like to mention this here, is that mid journey, the upscaler takes First of all, it takes a long time and it costs you fast hours from your subscription plan. That is one downside and why using some of these free upscalers might be a better alternative. And in some cases, having this more sharp contrasty style would probably look better. Here with the fur, I think the mid journey option almost looks better than DGB. But let's move on to the next site that I tested for this comparison, Upscale Media. On there, I used once again, the 4X upscaler, but also the enhance detail function. And currently we see DGB. This is upscale media, DGB, upscale media. So on upscale, I think you can tell it does get a little bit more blurry and it's not as sharp or detailed as DGB. The fur, definitely a lot more structure to it. Here, some of that structure gets lost and the edge also quite a bit blurrier on upscale. How does it compare to mid journey though? So for high DGB, now we can see upscale and now we see mid journey. You can tell that they're a bit closer to one another in the way that they're smoother. But again, upscale media, the colors look quite different and I think it's not as good of a result as DGB had. So we can currently see upscale, this is DGB. Do definitely prefer the DGB result in this case, but between upscale media and mid journey, I think it's a clear win to the mid journey upscaler aesthetically. The only downside being, again, mid journey does cost you quite a lot of fast hours if you use the built in upscaler. And lastly, let's have a look at upscale, which is an upscaler that you can download to your device, it runs on your device, and you can use it in bulk as well. If you have a slow machine, I wouldn't recommend using this one because it takes up a lot of processing power, but it is a great option with really good results typically. So at the moment, we see upscale media. Let's compare that to upscale. There we go, this is upscale, this is upscale media. Upscale, upscale media. I think it's quite clear in this case that upscale looks better. We once again see quite a lot more detail. It does look higher quality compared to upscale media. But what about the comparison to mid journey? So if we zoom in again, now we can see upscale, and this is mid journey 4X. A lot smoother and a bit more realistic, perhaps, in terms of the aesthetic of the fur. Upscale actually looks quite similar to DGB if we compare the two. So at the moment, we're seeing upscale, and this is DGB. Upscale, DGB. There's not much 
between them. Basically, the difference is one runs on your device, the other one is online, and DGB now has a 6x upscaler as well, which is a bit of an advantage over upscale, I would say. So if we look at the eye, this is upscale, and this is Mid Journey 4X. I, I do definitely like the way the Mid, Mid Journey Upscaler looks. It has got a really, really realistic feel for this photograph, for this style. I think in other styles, you might have a better result from something like DGB, but here Mid Journey did definitely do well. It's just a shame that it takes so, so long and definitely kills you fast hours. I think the nose as well, probably a good example. So here we can see Mid Journey. This is upscale. Mid Journey, upscale. Let's compare upscale to the original, just for fun, because that's always the, the biggest difference, right? So this is upscale, this is the original. Original, upscale, massive difference. Great, great improvement for sure. Upscale, original. I think out of this test, upscale media was probably the worst result, closely followed by, is it upscale or DGB? I don't know, those two are so, so similar. I think upscale, DGB and mid journey are all really good results. It just depends which one looks better for the types of images you're using and whether you're bothered about your free or your fast hours on mid journey. So I hope this video helped you figure out which one of these is best and if you know of any other really good upscalers, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you want to learn how to bulk upscale the images for free by 600%, make sure to check out this video next for one of my favorite online upscalers.